Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and, and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. The slave trade is a complicated period in history that continues to negatively affect Africans and African Americans alike. As more time passes, details emerge about the tragic events that has been kept hidden for hundreds of years. Slavery is harshly taught in the American education system and swept under the rugs in the African curricula system. But now here in this video is a list of the gory details of slavery that are not widely discussed but is imperative to note. As the old adage goes, you don't really know where you are going until you know where you have been. So number one, even African loyalties were enslaved. The prestigious titles bestowed upon certain Africans were not enough to shield them from the horrors of slavery. Prince William Anansha Cesarako was sold into slavery after his father naively sent him to Britain under the directive of a ship captain. What was planned as a trip to the United Kingdom as a way of Sensalako to gain a light education turned into Sensalako being sold as a slave in the Barbados. Princess Anta Majigwen Diai of Senegal was captured in 1806 at the age of 13. She was sold to Zephania Kingsley, a wealthy plantation owner, businessman, and slave ship captain from Florida, where she later became a wealthy plantation owner. Abrahman Ibrahim Ibn Sori, we have already done that story. A commander of the Torobe Frani Muslim tribe, he later became an emily and led a 2,000 man army. During one of their military operations, he was captured and enslaved, eventually being sold to the British. The British subsequently sold him to Thomas Foster, a slave master located in Natchez, Mississippi. Soli was enslaved and owned by Foster for 40 years. After a letter, Sori wrote was intercepted by a Dutch newspaper printer named Andrew Machiakos. In 1829, Sori was freed. But after 40 good years. And number two, there was more than one type of slave trade. The transatlantic slave trade was the most catastrophic in terms of the duration and the lives lost during transportation and those who were placed in the Americans and the Caribbean. Nevertheless, it has not, and it's not the only slave trade. The Arab slave trade or the Indian slave trade occurred between the medieval era through the early part of the 20th century. The medieval era or the Middle Age transpired with the fall of the Roman Empire which happened in the 5th century. During the 5th century, the Indian Ocean slave trade enabled traders to disperse an exceptional amount of slaves to India, Egypt, Ethiopia, the Far East, Arabia, the Persian Gulf, and the islands in the Indian Ocean, such as Christmas Island, or Australia, and Phuket in Thailand. In Cairo, Egypt, arches or male concubines 
were sold in private quarters. And number three, the cost of slavery. The average cost of purchasing a slave in 1850 was 400 US dollars. This would presently amount to 12,000 US dollars as reported by Express. And number five, rape of men and women. White slave owners didn't only rape women and kept some of them as concubines. They were also documented as raping men on the ships as they were being transported. This was specifically prevalent among the southern US and Cuba. There were sex farms established so slaves, I mean, so slave owners could rape men at their own will. Backbreaking was performed by white supremacists as a way to emasculate male slaves. The white man would have sex with a male slave in front of a crowd to embrace him and establish control. Enslaved men were also castrated or sexually mutilated to serve as a form of punishment. Male slaves were made to dance naked in front of slave owners and their sexual organs were scrutinized, launched, and laughed at, and discussed. And lastly, the enslaved men were made to have sex with an enslaved woman who was a virgin as a form of entertainment. Some white mistresses slept with their slaves while their husbands were away. All this not said, all this not documented in so many records. Number five, reparations to slave owners. In the late 1800s, slavery was abolished in the United Kingdom. 46,000 slave owners in Britain were compensated while the 800,000 slaves who were freed were given no reparations. Number six, the numbers of slaves. From 1526 to 1867, approximately 12.5 million slaves were transported to the Americans and the Caribbeans. Only about 10.7 slaves survived after the slavery ships docked in the aforementioned places. What a big loss of all those brothers and sisters' ancestries. Number seven, many slaves read uprisings. Slavery was not an opinion for them, but numerous books deny and defy that fact. Numerous slaves fought their oppressors and refused to idly accept being essentially imprisoned for the rest of their lives. Such examples as Sam Chappé, who used religious meetings as a way to spread the need for revolt. Then there is Brefu, the Ghanaian slave brought to Jamaica, who empowered 150 slaves to rebel against their masters in the West Indies. The Busa Rebellion was coded as the largest slave revolt on the island of Barbados. We cannot forget Queen Nani, an Ashanti woman transported to Jamaica as a slave. She later assisted 1,000 slaves in escaping from their masters and led the Maroons. A rebel group of slaves who established a community in the mountains and jungles of Jamaica. In a brave and libidious act of opposing slavery, Igbo slaves jumped off ships on the U.S. coast, ending their lives rather than scumbing to any of the more inhuman treatment. And number nine, the jungle was not just a character in the movie. Madison Washington was an enslaved cook who escaped from slavery not once, but twice held the cruel slave revolt in which 18 black slaves overtook the slave ship. The cruel in November 1841, the uprising resulted in freedom for 128 slaves. And number nine, forced to breastfeed. In addition to their plantation duties, many female slaves 
were taken into the homes of their masters to serve as their mistresses, to cook, clean, and wash for them. If a mistress had too many children, the domestic worker was made to help in caring for the child or for the children. After a while, female slaves were made to take the place of low-class women paid to breastfeed babies, a practice known as weight nursing. The practice was an excuse for many white mothers to avoid breastfeeding with hopes of maintaining their stature or avoiding the messy part of motherhood. The act was perceived as self-demeaning and women who were seen breastfeeding were often thought as uncultured, poor, and often shunned. Once a slave mother had a child, she was quickly assigned to a white mistress and forced to breastfeed her white baby instead of her own. So actually these people didn't know what they wanted. Because if you really treat these people the way you treat them and then they breast, breastfeed your children, then what is the end goal to it? Well, number 10, slave masters and slave swapped roles. As far back as the ancient Roman days, slavery existed and followed the same trends as the transatlantic slave trade. Slaves were the property of their own masters and subject to capital punishment, severe house chores, and farm work as well as sexual exploitation. Slaves from Africa were mostly from Northern Africa, specifically Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco. A few Egyptian slaves also existed in ancient Rome. During the, Stan, the Saturnalia festival, is the Saturnalia festival, slaves took the role of their masters, who in turn assumed the role of their slaves. This meant that slaves enjoyed all the privileges that came naturally to their masters. They wore their master's clothes, lived in their master's houses, and ate food fit for a slave master or royal. In turn, masters were slave, wore slave clothes, ate slave food, performed all the domestic and farm work that was given to the slave, and lived in the quarters. I actually, after talking about it, now doubt this. There's no master who could do really swap his role with a slave, I doubt. What do you think about that, dear brothers and sisters? Please calm down in the comment section. Let's discuss that in two details. My name is Osi the Bone Child, and until next time, I'll be seeing you in another video, but thank you so much for watching the African Diaspora News channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. Yes, love you all. Bye-bye.